Finally, while I've got you, just on a final question, you talk about debates. Brexit debate, are you going to be contributing to the debate? Um, yes, I hope so. Um, I put in to speak. Of course, there are a lot of people who are putting in. Um, I've already contributed. In, uh, um, I, my view is that um, I'm not going to, as it stands, unless there's big changes in, next week, I'm not going to support the Prime Minister's deal because I think it keeps us in the European Union in a spaghetti junction of EU bureaucracy and we have to pay £39 billion up front and we haven't even got a trade deal. But I do support a proposal called Common Market 2.0. I want to go back to the original common market where we take back control of our fish, our farms. Um, we're out of the European Court, we're out of home affairs, we're out of taxation of the EU. Uh, but what we will have is a free trading area and a customs arrangement with um, Britain and the rest of uh, Europe without the needing of, of this so-called backstop and separating Britain uh, from Northern Ireland. And I think that is the answer. So if the deal doesn't go through, um, I hope that MPs will consider uh, Common Market 2.0. And what I've done is I've actually banded together with a, a Labour MP to put this proposal to the government and published a pamphlet because what I think we need to do, rather than be divided, we need to unite all the parties, you need to unite as much as possible and try and come around one solution that is best for Britain, that delivers the result of the referendum, that uh, takes back uh, control but ensure safeguards jobs, safeguards jobs for Harlow, safeguards our economy and our business model and the rest of Britain.